latest box of Saskatraz honeybees has arrived and we just took our trip up to the cabin. It's going to be an interesting install because as you can see, it's a pretty messy, wet, rainy day <laughs> out there and it's only about 40 to 43 degrees, but tomorrow we're getting one to three inches of snow. So the install is still going to happen tonight. The bathroom is the smallest room here on the homestead and I need these ladies to stay nice, warm, and in a fairly dark place while I get ready to put them out into the hive. So they're just going to relax in here for a little bit. Since it is raining here and I've got to get the ladies in the hive tonight before the snow, we are going to try and uh, do something a little different. <laughs> Um, if it was just drizzling a little bit, you know, I wouldn't be as concerned. I can get them in there pretty fast, but I don't want to have to have any extra second of them with lots of rain coming down. So I have got some, uh, landscape plastic here that you usually put under beds of rocks and stuff. And I'm heading out to the orchard through the mud puddles. <laughs> Thank goodness for my boots. Ah, uh, and I'm going to see if I can do something with this plastic and all of the uh, posts that we have sitting around the hive. Welcome to the bee installation thing. Uh, if you don't know, you can tell I have put a tarp or two up in the rain in the boundary waters. Don't have any tarp trees to tie edges of tarp that allow rope to, but I do have <laughs> one behind, <laughs> couple of sticks, and the electric fencing that has obviously been turned off. I have an added bonus, I have cinder blocks to actually set one of the sticks in, so this is a pretty snazzy job, folks. The ladies and I are on the way to the hive. <laughs> yes. This is actually how we arrived at the hive. I've been keeping the ladies in the hive body to keep them from the rain, but also so that they can start warming up the frames and the box so they don't have to work so hard once they're out in the cold. Shaking the bees down to the bottom of the box makes it a lot easier when you're taking the sugar syrup out so that they're not trying to fly around quite so much. You still get some ladies buzzing around, but it helps prevent too many of them coming out. The next thing is to take the queen cage that's been hanging there out and tuck it into my pocket to keep it nice and warm. We're gonna shake them down one more time. The side is already propped open just a little bit and I'm gonna open it all the way and dump the ladies into the hive. A couple of good shakes gets most of them out. Now you've got the ladies in a big pile on the bottom of the hive and if you want to be able to arrange the frames, you need to use your hive tool to spread them out a little bit so you can actually move the frames around. If you leave them in that big pile, you're going to just squish all of them when you try and rearrange. Don't worry, didn't forget to put the queen in. I just wanna keep the ladies that are in the hive warm while I take the queen out of my pocket where she's been chilling warming actually <laughs> and get her into the queen cage holder that's really convenient because i can just set it right in on top of one of the frames and she stays exactly where she needs to be after the queen the next order of business is putting on some pollen substitute patties for that protein boost After the pollen patties comes sugar water. In the spring, you're gonna use a one-to-one -one ratio of water to sugar. I'm going to use a second deep hive body to protect the sugar syrup from flying all over the place. 
And after that, there are a couple of bees still in the box that I couldn't get out. I have them propped open just a little bit. I'm popping them in the top and I do have room from the sugar syrup so that they can get out of the box and they can climb down into the hive. Finish that up with the outer cover. And finally, I'm gonna top that off with a cinder block. That's gonna prevent uh, any winds or anything like that from throwing the hive around and knocking it over. The ladies are in and the rain has stopped. Slowed down just a little bit. So it is now time to get the electric fence dialed back in. So we can keep those nasty pesky bears that I love in other circumstances, but not right now, <laughs> away from our ladies. So we have our hive that made it over the winter and is still doing nice and strong and next to it, a beautiful new one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The other hive still actually has its winter protection on, but I'm not gonna take that off since we're getting that fun one to three inches of snow tomorrow, but I'm feeling really, really excited about everything we accomplished today in the rain. <laughs>